Hello everyone and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about all of the latest um, Newcastle United um, transfer news and other news. So uh, guys, first of all, I just want to say um, if you guys have been wondering why I haven't been posting for the last few days, because I've had a bad cold and cough. Uh, so I've just decided to take a break. You can probably tell by my voice sounds a bit uh, croaky, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was. So I'm going to be making a video today. So this is it's going to be about all of the uh, newest Newcastle transfer news and other news. So firstly, I'm going to be talking about Andre Santos. Now, if you don't know who he is, he's a Brazilian 18 years old midfielder who plays for Vasco da Gamas. Now, um, he his stats are he's played 33 matches, scored 8 and got 0 assists. And he's got an average match rating of 7.3. Eight. Now, what's the news regarding him? Now, he's a very, well, he's a very gifted player, very good at, on the ball. Um, he likes to get forwards, got a bit of flair to him, got a bit of skill. Um, so, what's that got to do with Newcastle? Now, this Brazilian journalist has said, who's very uh, reliable, by the way, has said, Newcastle are willing to pay £40 million pounds to sign Andre Santos, which is a hell of a lot of money for a 18 year old. So, you know, he must have um, some talent to him. And another journalist who has said that is Fabrizio Romano. Now, you know me, he's one of my favourite journalists. For me, one of the most reliable uh journalist ever and what has he said well he has said um newcastle are monitoring top talent andre santos and um, we've got a good relationship with his agent um, and the price tag would be more than 30 million pounds so again like these two journalists have been saying a hell of a lot of money for an 18 year old now Another journalist who has furthermore backed this up, if you still uh, don't believe us, is Keith Downey. Now, again, just like Fabrizio Romano and the other guy, he is very reliable, uh, based in the northeast, does mostly uh, news in the northeast. And what he's basically said is that Newcastle United have uh, put Andre Santos onto their transfer list and are targeting him. Um, so, yeah, he is a very good player and I would love to see him at Newcastle. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. No agreement has been reached yet with Vasco de Gámez, but we'll have to see what goes on in the next few weeks. So, the next bit of Newcastle transfer news is about Maximo Peroni. Now, you guys will know um, quite a few would uh, days ago now I was talking about him in one of my other videos and we've now got some more news about him so um so this Argentina source called Velez Afonda it's like a news uh, talks about transfer news and a lot of the biggest clubs in Argentina and what have they said they have said um that so Christian um Besedes, now if you don't know who he is, he's actually Maximo Perone's agent, has apparently travelled to Newcastle to finalise um the transfer of Maximo Perone. Now again <laughs> um this guy is quite reliable so you've got to take a look at this you know, you could easily go, oh, this just isn't true. But you have got to take a look at this. And if this is true, I'm sure more information will come out over the next few days. Now, about the player, I really, really like him. Technically, good on the ball, strength. 
Um, he's got a lot of attributes and things about him which um, could make him a fantastic player in the future. So, uh, yeah, again, two very exciting pieces of transfer news there for Newcastle potentially signing two wonder kids. Now, on to the next news. This is in the structure of the club. So, Fabrizio Romano has said that uh, Newcastle United have reached an agreement to appoint Paul um, Midley as head of youth recruitment. Now, if you don't know who he is, he used to work at Man City. So, you know, Man City, they've won Premier Leagues. They've probably got one of the best academy in the world, you know, producing top young players. So, having him on board um, as youth uh, um, youth recruitment director is brilliant. Uh, so what he'll do is he'll basically look for young players and um, look for young talent, help to grow young talent in Newcastle. So really good for the club there because, um, you know, get a guy in from Man City is great and a great move for the club. So, um, yeah, so I think that is all of the news there that I've covered. Very exciting transfer news for Newcastle fans. So, um, before I end off the video, I'm just going to say it later. I'm going to be posting my match reaction with my dad uh, for England, USA. Now, my dad's currently out at the minute, so I can't do it with him yet. And as I've said, it's slightly... Uh, it's slightly been delayed because um, I have not been very well. So anyway, that's going to be it for a day about Newcastle United news. Um, I will be starting to post a lot more now because I'm starting to feel a lot better, which is good. So if you like the video, make sure to like and hit the subscribe button. I'm, uh, we're doing really well at the moment, so that is good to see. And make sure to turn on notifications so uh, you don't miss whenever I post. So, yeah, very exciting time to be a Newcastle fan. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.